We come to you today to help provide greater understanding of what is taking place within your holographic reality, personally and collectively. You are in a crucial time period, one in which each person will be making a choice to allow the energies to infuse and empower them or to allow them to exacerbate all that is taking place. The incoming light simply is. For some it will bring great upheaval, an unveiling of masks, and for others it will not feel like a crumbling of self but rather deep clarity of your true nature. What is taking place within, is also taking place in the world at large. The world in which you reside, your hologram, changes and bends to reflect what you feel within. In vibrational terms, what you feel inside, what remains to be healed sends out a frequency that is matched and then modeled within the collective hologram. Think on your social media, when you are feeling happy, hopeful and joyous, you will see others feeling a similar reaction. If you feel fearful, angry, or full of lack, you will see that others feel the same, validating your expression. You may find news stories will come to your attention that help to confirm exactly how you are feeling. Your social media is yet just another layer of the collective consciousness that personifies what is being felt within. It is for this reason that many choose to unplug from all outside media inputs. While at times this is wise, know that it is through trial and error and being faced with what causes a reaction within that you grow and heal. Understand that while on the one level you may feel a certain emotion, what you are being show is what is deep within the layers of your being. The light codes and frequencies flooding your reality are designed to lift all the veils that have kept you separate from your true nature. It is now up to you to let go of how you perceive things to be. Let go of what you thought was your path. Open up to all possibilities, particularly the ones that you cannot conceive at this time. As you do, the construct of your reality will begin to crumble, paving the way for the grandest possibilities. Allow yourself the freedom to experience this miraculous time without the need to alter or label it as good or bad. Look at where you have changed your thoughts and dreams to fit into what you have been told is reality. Instead, realize that it is reality that will bend and shift to your creating. As you rid yourself of the veils of sleep, you will find that what you create will be a version of your soul, your creation will be one of unconditional love and joy. Just as you are being shown where this is dissonance within, where there are areas that need to be healed and filled with light, so too are all those around you. This may look like chaos, but understand that it is necessary for all not in alignment to become evident. Each person must consciously choose a reaction. The masks that each person wears, the ways that they have identified themselves as are now being removed. It is from this place that each person has a choice, they can see the layers for what they are or they may cling to them until they no longer have an option. See each thing in life as a tool to bring you to center and help you remember your soul. In all things you are being challenged to see through the veils through the hologram and to choose love. Love simply put means that you see through the density and duality to the highest source and react from a place of understanding. During this time of upheaval, much will be unmasked, cracked and splintered to let the light in and the truth out. Allow all that does not honor your soul to simply pass you by and as you do you will naturally gravitate towards the frequencies that do. Allow your body to be your guide, as each of your eyes and frequency that which is not aligned will cause great discomfort within your form. When this occurs it is your opportunity to see what beliefs and patterns are being exposed so that you may choose different. We are the Galactic Council of Light and hold you in the highest regard. Conversation with the Council of Light me this time of upheaval, the unmasking as you call it, does this include the government, the health and financial industry as well? Council what you must understand is that these industries you speak of are all controlled by people and it is a representation of the collection consciousness. As each person heals within so do these representations. All of these organizations can be seen in a positive and negative view. This is why it is important for each person to allow for there to be change with these organizations. If the view held is consistently negative, it will continue to be negative. Yet, if each of you see the goodness that resides in all things, you then feed that aspect and are able to create new ways of being that are not dominated by fear and control. Understand that all is of the light, the areas in your personal and collective life that do not seem to represent this, 
simply need more light infused into it. Each of you are powerful beings who can heal by simply seeing all in the highest possible light. Me I was shown recently that when there are issues within the body such as a stomach ache, to infuse the area with the highest possible light from source. This light is all around us if we choose to see it. It really helped when I had heartburn the other night. Counsel yes, it is that concept that will allow people to heal themselves in the world. This is what is meant by holding space. When you see all in the highest light and infuse light into all areas that seem to be lacking, you hold space allowing for the light to be matched and for deep changes to be made. Me I was shown recently two earths with a bridge connecting them. One was the third dimensional frequency and the other was the 5D and beyond. In between the earths is the bridge for those in transition. I was shown that some who have made it to the new earth have not completely anchored and then they feel pulled by the instability felt on the population of those on the bridge. Can you explain why? Council the 5D frequency is the doorway to much higher dimensions and ways of being. What you were shown is a perfect illustration of why it is very important for each person to focus inward and not on the outward manifestation. The majority of the collective is on the bridge not fully grounded in either location and the pull to remain in the lower vibrational levels is still very strong. This pull is even felt by those who are able to achieve the higher levels, but are still working on maintaining them consistently. Each person must see where they have ties to the lower frequencies of judgment, lack, and fear. As each one is healed they will no longer feel the pull to return to what is familiar. Me thank you. Council it is our pleasure to bring this information forth as we see all of you in the highest light.